welcome back if you're joining us from another video. If you're joining us for the first time. Hello, surprise! <laughs> Hello! We have in front of us one of the Nendroids. Now these are little anime figures where you can change their arms, their faces. Kind of like, um, kind of like a little figurine <coughs> that can change depending on their personality, etc. Um, they're really, really cute. I have opened one before, just not on camera. And this one is from show by rock we have the season one here we've only been a few episodes in we already love it it's very very cute it is an anime which is based off a video game from what i understand it's based around music from what i saw her playing on the guitar on the <coughs> phone it's like guitar hero kind of a guitar hero sort of thing but when i saw this little nendroid i had to have her i love anime style cat girls <laughs> i just think they're absolutely gorgeous and so does my daughter and my son loves anime he's more of an inuyasha sort of fan you know kind of the boy dog one the boy demon <laughs> sort of thing but um this is a girly one because hey i'm a girl and i like girly things yeah and i'm a boy <laughs> yeah so here we have her with her happy face plate on and then it's got her name Cyan here, which of course is a colour. And down here we have a confused face and then the little creature which she changes into when she's doing her music. And then the two pieces on the back here. So let's get into it and have a look. Okay, so once you've got it open, it looks like you can just pull it all out. Easy as that. Awesome! Cool. And... You know what kids, recycle your cardboard and plastics, I say that in most of my videos. It has a little instruction piece with all the pieces, it looks like two types of arms, a tail, uh, that's the piece to hold your figure in, a base, uh, there's two different face plates as I showed on the box, uh, the little cat that she turns into, and her guitar. Oh, and it looks like a different sort of hand piece here as well. What else is in here? And it gives you instructionals on how to basically put the pieces together etc. That seems all very simplistic. Next you get this really cool background. Check out this background. This is really sweet. I almost am tempted to glue it back together just to sit her in. Very very cute. So let's use it as the background in our so video. So my boy just helped me by uh, taking the plastic covering off. Let's look at the pieces. Here is the confused headpiece which Blake actually likes. <laughs> He can't wait to see her like this, like, what? Eh? Looks like she's irked or she's very, very confused. Okay, he's still in the background now. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. This is the little cat she turns into when she's using her, um, in the musical, part of the musical world, where she turns into this tiny little cat. That is adorable. Got a little hole at the back here, so we'll find out how to put it on the stand. Meow. I'm adorable. All right, so the next two pieces are the. Actually, it looks like there's three sets of arms because there's a set of arms on her, and then these two sets here and a hand. So first, we'll take out this teeny tiny little hand, which you can change. It's really. I don't know why there's one teeny tiny little hand. It looks like a hand that's pointing. At all. <laughs> so we've got a teeny tiny hand. We then have this set of arms, which is two little closed fists together. Meow, meow. Adorable. And then there's this set of arms. Wait, are those are arms? It looks like she's holding. Oh, this has a um. This has a teeny tiny guitar pick. It's very hard to get in focus. There's a teeny tiny little guitar pick in this arm. And then the other arm, it looks like it's um, her one for holding her guitar. It's got an open hand. So if we t can we turn it around? Yeah, so there we go. If we turn it around this way, it can hold the guitar. And of course she has, so there's three sets of arms. She has her own set. And now we have a little tail here. Because every little kitty girl needs a tail. Yeah. And I'm just throwing it down there, hopefully not losing it. So the last uh, piece that's separate from her is, of course, the heart guitar, which is um, the legendary heart from the game. As I said, we're not too far into the episode yet, so we don't really know what's going on other than she's transported into a musical, a world that kind of revolves around music. And then, oh my goodness, here she is, Sion. Let's get all these little pieces off her. 
The baby soft toy, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, a soft toy would be gorgeous. <gasps> she is so incredibly cute. I mean, if you're an anime figure collector or you're a doll collector, wow. Even if you don't want to watch the anime show, she is so adorable. i point out the pieces on her. So the arms um, she comes with are sprayed out like this. <clears throat> she comes with this gorgeous little dress. It has like a frilly blouse underneath with a little cat bell and bow around her neckline down to these frills here. I'm making my daughter this dress. My daughter cosplays, so I'm, I'm making this dress. <laughs> I am so sewing up this dress for her. She's got little white panties on which goes down into these large leg stockings of blue and white. Teeny tiny little, teeny tiny little shoes. Oh my gosh. And look at this face. This face is adorable. These, it's like a little cat like nose above two little fangs there and a happy face and these beautiful green eyes. Just the detail, this is so well made. It reminds me of Animal Jam. <laughs> it looks like a little Animal Jam person. And then she's got these little cat ears with these fluffy bits in. This little headpiece here going across like a maid scarf. And then look at these curls. All her hair is done in curls. And of course there are the holes in the back to hold, hold her up. This is the standard set she comes into. Let's Take her away and change her faceplate. So Blake's dressed her up for this round. We put on the crazy face and these little arms. It makes her look very unsure. And of course we worked out the set hole at the bottom was for her tail. Look at this. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. Somebody help me. Meow. <laughs> That's absolutely adorable. So it was very easy to change. I'm actually going to change her um, back into her smiling face and her third set of arms with the guitar to He's show. She's not in the video. <laughs> well, so let's show. You just pull off the front here. And then you pop out the face. You then can pop off the arms. We'll keep the tail on. You can take the tail off That's if you no want. Way. So it's, it's it looks like this. So it's it's just it, there's nothing complicated in it. You just pull it apart and put it back together. It looks absolutely horrific like this, like something out of a horror movie, one of those um, Five Nights at Freddy type things. <laughs> uh, now her guitar. I'm wondering if we just take it off. We'll put it on this way. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. All right, and then you can just pop the head down. Easy peasy is that to put on her guitar. And then pop it back down. Got the happy smiley headpiece here. We're going to pop this in, eh, Blake? This is really easy, eh, babe? I'm going to get Blake a little boy one. Um, I'm hoping I can find an Inuyasha one of some sort. Would you like that one, Blake? Mm -hmm. Inuyasha? Or a uh, um, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I never Captain Underpants figure. Okay, there we go. That was me messing up. Or a Captain Underpants Android. Captain the Underpants. Captain Underpants Super Series Sugar Studio. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to pop her hair back in. Easy peasy. Then we're going to put on the third set of arms, <coughs> which is what I think looks like the guitar holding arms. Oops, her tail just popped off because I whacked it with my finger. That one there with the little tiny guitar pick. Oh, look, it's so cute. And it looks like she's playing the guitar. I'll bring her up and show. So cute. Oh my goodness. I think these are going to become a regular thing on my show. If you love Nendroids, I'm going to be going through a few of these. <laughs> going to be a favorite thing for a while. So this is with the third set of arms and the original headpiece and you saw how easy it was. Basically just everything pops into place. Really really cute and the funny thing is my daughter um, uh, she knows how to play electric guitar. Her guitar is actually pink so this is really really good. 
so next off we're going to make the stand oh, there we go so that's how she gets on her display stand now I'm guessing if you want the background um, <laughs> you can move this to one of the corners or move this forward onto one of the ones and then you can have basically this going for it I don't I don't think I, I like that background do you it, it I, looks funky. It does look funky. I I like it and I don't like it. I just don't think it, it like matches her. I think she looks sweet. I think this looks very graffiti artish. Um, <laughs> so I don't like gonna her. keep her. It looks nothing like her. All right. So the second stand is for this little one. I'm guessing it's not gonna be as complicated. Okay. So I finally managed to get it in her back. I'm not gonna lie. The stands were more difficult for me to work out than putting the doll pieces together and, and taking them apart. But it's worked out and that's good. So this is herself in her little kitty cat form, Cyan. And we've got her here. I'm going the only piece I haven't shown is this little hand piece here. But I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You can pull the hands out on one of these other ones and just change it over. I'm not going to do that because I actually really like her in this pose with the guitar. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer, as my son does, this piece. <laughs> Let's get up close and personal with her. Okay, Blake, what do you think about her? Uh... Wait, I kind of love her brain. He <laughs> likes when she's pulled wait, apart. Wait, can you That's show the... her brain? No, I'm not going to show her brain. Oh, We've already seen gross. her brain. I'm not going to show her brain again. I really like her in this cute pose. He loves the confused head. And here she is in her miniature form. So on a display piece, they're going to look absolutely cute. That That's adorable. That is adorable. All these accessories for different poses you can put her in, but this is absolutely adorable. And though I've opened a couple before, I've never been so excited about one. So I think we're going to be um, making a small Nendroid collection, opening a few of those on camera, because kitty girl, so cute. If you love Nendroids, what should you do? Give us a thumbs up or wow. If and a boy, this could be boring. <laughs> if you're a boy, you're not gonna like it, he says. But there's lots of boys who who um, collect anime. Some boys don't like girl stuff, so some boys would give this a thumbs down because this is boring, <laughs> and girls would give it a thumbs up because they love it. But girls, but boys would think boys would think that's too girly. Okay. So we give it a thumbs down. But. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to... See ya! Let me know what was your favourite. Do you like her in her happy form? Or do you like her in her scaredy cat face like Blake does? Or his ultimate favourite is when we pulled her apart and she was doing a Five Nights at Freddy impersonation. <laughs> And she has a brain. And she has a brain. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.